Imagine a fascinating celestial orchestra conducted through a limitless array of space entities, stars, planets, and satellites, all resonating in ideal unison. But amidst this stellar arrangement, a particular group has enthralled astronomers for a long time. Exoplanets. These mysterious territories exist outside our very own solar system, hidden deep in the vast Milky Way galaxy. What might astonish you is that among this multitude of astral bodies, there is an exoplanet so remarkably similar to Earth, so uncannily familiar, that it might just be our planetary counterpart. Join us as we embark on a journey into the compelling world of Proxima b, a planet located just 4.2 light-years away from Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is transforming how we approach the search to understand these remote spheres. Imagine your thoughts drifting through the giant astronomical landscape of the Milky Way, a galaxy housing over a quadrillion exoplanets. To understand the scale, visualize each exoplanet as the size of a grain of sand. Not only would that amount completely occupy the Grand Canyon, but it would be enough to assemble a completely new terrestrial wonder, a Grand Canyon 2.0, spanning an incredible 4 million kilometers in length. What's even more remarkable is that roughly 20% of these distant worlds have been categorized as Earth-like, based on their geology and atmospheric traits. That implies that for every five exoplanets, one might mirror the traits of our home planet. But the tale doesn't end there. Orbiting many of these planets is probably another quadrillion moons. Rocky companions like our own, locked in gravitational dances with their parent planets. According to Space.com, if you're expecting evidence of another space object that could preserve life or is already doing so, the universe offers limitless chances. Now that we've begun to reveal the sheer scale of the cosmos, it's time to introduce... The master artisan capable of capturing its excellent details, the James Webb Space Telescope. This cosmic observer, with a mirror instead of a magnifying glass, exceeds even the most advanced imaging gear. Its 6.5-meter primary mirror, 2.7 times larger than Hubble's, offers it the capability to detect the faintest stellar sparkles billions of light years away and observe the planets that orbit them. But the James Webb Telescope is revolutionary, not only because of its unrivaled observational power, but also due to its high-tech components, which include infrared detectors and spectrographic tools. These instruments don't just observe. They dissect the specific wavelengths of light emitted or reflected by cosmic objects to decode their atmospheric makeup, elemental composition, density, and mass. Acting like celestial forensic analysts, they can detect if a planet has water, carbon-based compounds, or even breathable air. The James Webb is not just a polished version of Hubble. It's a massive leap ahead. If Hubble's insights left you in awe, brace yourself for a whole new level of discovery as we continue to probe the intricacies of the universe. One specific star. System demands our attention. Proxima B. Since its discovery in 2016, this fascinating planet has become the centerpiece of a cosmic narrative filled with riddles and contradictions that has gripped both scientists and space enthusiasts. What makes Proxima b amazing? First, it's in our celestial backyard, only 4.2 light-years away. To put that in relatable terms, if you could travel at the speed of light, you'd reach Proxima b in just over four years. That's the duration of a presidential term or the time it takes for a style trend to fade away. But the closeness of this planet is more than a convenience. In a universe that spans 93 billion light years across, discovering a world this close and this rich in potential is like uncovering a rare gem in a mountain of rubble. This gem could hold crucial clues about life and our place within the cosmic narrative. Proxima B's intrigue isn't just about distance. Scientists speculate it may not only resemble Earth, but might be Earth's mirror image, Earth 2.0. Located in the habitable zone of its star where temperatures are just right, it could support liquid water. 
Imagine waterfalls plunging from alien cliffs, expansive rivers winding through unknown terrains, and giant oceans as deep and enigmatic as the Mariana Trench. But before we pack our bags for a future vacation to Proxima B, we must examine some of its unique quirks. For example, a single day on Proxima B stretches over 11 Earth days. Think of sunrises that take hours to bloom into daytime, followed by drawn-out sunsets bathed in golden colors. Although it sounds picturesque, it raises compelling questions about weather and livability. Could human biology adapt to this extended cycle of light and darkness? Would we need more food or sleep? Would time feel the same? Life on Proxima B could be both surprisingly recognizable and entirely foreign. Nature offers a puzzle within a paradox. Could life on Proxima B resemble ours? This question shakes the very foundation of what we believe makes a world habitable. The James Webb Space Telescope isn't just a tool, it's a scientific powerhouse. But how can we gather accurate, reliable data about a planet we've never set foot on? The JWST utilizes every bit of its technological arsenal to confront that question, functioning as a floating laboratory in orbit. Thanks to its groundbreaking design, scientists aren't limited to mere observation. They can deeply study these far-off worlds with advanced instruments. Using infrared detectors and light-splitting spectrographs, the telescope can interpret the electromagnetic energy radiating from or reflected by these distant planets. By breaking down the exact mild wavelengths absorbed or emitted by way of diverse chemical compounds in a planet's atmosphere allow researchers to basically perform a far-flung biopsy of those alien worlds. This permits them to measure air pressure, atmospheric thickness, and the potential presence of life-friendly elements like water vapor, carbon compounds, and even oxygen. JWST is not just any other observatory. It's a breakthrough in analytical engineering. It empowers scientists to update informed guesses with confirmed understanding, reshaping our grasp of the universe and redefining what we believe is possible beyond our planet. And just when we thought the universe couldn't marvel us further, something wonderful happened. Scientists working with the JWST detected an unexpected signal from Proxima B, a transmission so specific, so intricately structured, that it sent shockwaves through the scientific community and sparked viral discussions across the Internet. It reignited the age-old question, are we alone? This electromagnetic anomaly was unlike anything previously logged. It was so delicate and repetitive in its pattern that it suggested something deliberate, potentially the result of advanced intelligence. For a brief moment, the collective imagination of humanity paused, electrified by the idea that another form of sentient life might be reaching out across the stars. But just as mysteriously as it appeared, the signal vanished, leaving behind a chilling quiet, a cascade of theories, and a vast landscape of unanswered questions. Was it just an unusual space disturbance, a fleeting irregularity within the cosmos? Or was it something more? A subtle message from an intelligent civilization far beyond our own. Could it have been a coded beacon or a long-lost echo from a society seeking to reach us across time? Whatever it was, that lone signal turned Proxima B into more than a subject of astronomical interest. It became a magnetic focal point for our hopes, fears, and curiosities. It transformed from a promising planet to a symbol of possibility. The implications are extraordinary. Could this be one chapter in a larger, more intricate storyline? One that binds us to an expansive interstellar family? Even though truth remains elusive, one thing is clear. This mystery only strengthens our curiosity. It propels not only science, but also the fundamental human desire to reach out, to find out that we are part of something far greater. Searching for artificial light, the next frontier in alien world research, adds another dimension to this endeavor. Our story doesn't stop here. As new innovations take shape, the JWST, not a passive observer but an active space detective, is 
being reimagined by bold thinkers as something akin to a cosmic night vision machine. Their ambitious aim is to scan exoplanets not just for biological evidence of life, but for signs of artificial illumination. Yes, artificial light, streetlights, cityscapes, vast metropolises glowing under alien skies. Visualize the wonder. A thriving alien civilization casting energy into the cosmos, visible not through natural signals, but through their engineered radiance. A city glowing on the dark side of a distant globe, an artificial glow breaking through the blackness of deep space. Though it sounds like science fiction, this concept is rapidly entering the realm of scientific feasibility. Detecting unnatural lighting would not just point to intelligent life, it would hint at something systematic, a cosmic rhythm. Intelligence, like life, may be a repeating pattern across the stars. And what would such a discovery mean for us? It would rewrite philosophies, challenge religious teachings, reshape world politics, and revolutionize our understanding of science. In a single transformative moment, humanity might evolve from isolated beings on a blue planet to recognized members of a broader, perhaps ancient, cosmic civilization. New questions would emerge, questions deeper than we've ever dared to ask. How would we initiate contact? What knowledge could they share? Most intriguingly, what stories could we tell each other? So, as the James Webb Space Telescope gazes farther than any eye before it, and as we tune our instruments to detect even the faintest murmurs from the void, one thing becomes undeniably clear. The universe is no longer silent. It is murmuring, perhaps even speaking. The question is, are we ready to listen?